and do whatever it wants to do but anyway i don't even know where my shaver is because i would shave this off now anyway that's not the point the point is how the strangers feel in to know what to believe in Hey everybody, welcome to the sweat corner. <laughs> That's joining us for the very first time. Welcome y'all, welcome. It's for the sweat fam. How's it doing? How's it made? Hey, how's it y'all? How's it going? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yo, if you can see the 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 lace on my wig, just ignore it. I I didn't bleach it. I refuse. It's just ignore the lace hopefully you can see it it's not like coming out a lot but anyway today we're testing new foundation i'm so happy <sighs> but we're going to do our eyes first before we focus on the foundation maybe i'll spit through this whole thing and keep the eye look for instagram if you don't follow me instagram make sure you do my handle is orlunda underscore armas i'll put it here for you follow me there so i'll probably show you how i do the eye look there yeah let's get started i have no idea what i'm planning on doing but yeah so we're going to do the huda beauty palette and try and incorporate the burgundy palette from maybelline as well lately i've been priming my eyelids with the primer from wet and wild and i've been loving how my makeup has been staying so i'm going to continue doing that for those who already are here i mean for those who are new to the channel you already know well we don't know but i have two eyebrow videos on this channel of mine I'm going to link them in the up here somewhere and in the description box go there and see how I do my eyebrows my routine hasn't changed and it's the same so up there so the eye look is done welcome back now we're getting into the foundation like I needed us to so today we're trying new foundation I think I told you that already and the foundation that we're trying out today Yes, drum roll. The NYX One Stop Can Stop Foundation, and it is in the shade Deep Cool. <sighs> Y'all, the journey I went through to try and find this perfect shade was a thing, but I'm excited to try it and i've been looking forward to trying it i'm gonna be finding my shade and finally i found the shade so i'm gonna start off by priming my face before we get into this goodie that i really want to try i'm going to use my all women primer the usual prime 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 guys trying to find foundation in this time of rona being you know around is a situation because we're not getting in our foundations as fast as we need to and so it's taking a while for some of us to find our like shades and foundations and stuff so yeah that's happening are you anyway dealing with this thing most people i know are not even wearing foundations so i don't even know why i'm asking most people are not even wearing foundation at all i still love trying it like i said mine is in deco this um next one stop can stop one stop foundation it has been on the market for about a year i know here spe specifically but i feel like everywhere else it's been about like maybe two years now i just have not tried it at all because we raised it we couldn't find it and when it did come in we didn't have i didn't have the right the shades that i the, the the right shade and i didn't want to buy two different foundations for it and finally i bought it i have it now two years too late but anyway we're gonna try for those of you who haven't tried it with you tried it at all i get to give you a glimpse of that and it is a full cover foundation and 24 hour matte finish they say i was end up picking matte foundations we all know that already so yeah it is how big is it 
I think I told you that it's deep cool already. It is, they give me fluid ounces or what ounces. It's number 44 if you find it, if you can find any decent 30 ml bottle. Okay. Let's try and break the seal. Oh, I bought it in Clicks and it is the Clicks at Glow at Grove. They're the only one who have it. And it is it was uh, 200 and oh it's very watery. 200 and $79. It's a very nice smell. Very watery though. So I'm gonna try and shake it nicely. And apply it with my brush. Okay. I've used the All Women's Primer to prime my face. To the back of my hand. Yep. When you use it, please make sure that you actually shake it a little bit. I'm gonna try with the brush on the one side and then with the blender on the other side. I immediately like the finish already. And it's already full coverage. I like how deep it is. This will be a perfect summer shade actually. Yeah. Because of the offset it looks a little bit darker, not too dark though. But maybe it's just the camera because in person it looks like it is just the right shade. But I think in, when, in summer it's going to be so perfect. Blending very well. There's not so much of a difference. I like it. I really do. It dries very quickly. So you have to keep that in mind when you use it. Immediately love it. I'm going to go with a beauty blender, a damn beauty blender, and blend my left side and see how that is. Yeah, I think I immediately love the, the blend of the of the brush already more than I like the blend. Of the blender because you immediately get full coverage with a brush and then with this one you have to build it up. So I'm just gonna continue on with the brush on this side. Mind you, with the brush, a little goes a long way. And my hair, all over my head. So you have to remember that if you're going to use a beauty blender to blend this foundation out, you're going to need to layer it on to get the full cover and you get more full coverage um, blend with the brush this is a brush that i got in clicks by the way they had them on sale and i just put them it's not like an angled brush but i like how dense it is and how well it applies the foundation and i think i said in a couple of videos already that how much i've been enjoying the blend of the beauty blender i mean of the brush instead of the the beauty blender so that's cool i like the way it sits um i don't have any other no, i do have another um uh, nyx product but i'll bring that up when it needs to so now we're just going to let this sit and i'm going to continue with my normal process and see how it adheres to all other products the way that it feels right now anyway i don't think i'm going to have to set my face because it's already matte i think also because i'm using a mattifying primer underneath so this is livable with like oily skin but both dry skin not so much because it is really like sitting properly i'm going to conceal using the concealer from nyx i mean from wet and wild um wet and wild photo focus 
to see what that one looks like. This one is in the shade Dark Cocoa. And then use that to conceal. This foundation is drying down. I think for a girl with like dry skin, I am not going to set the rest of my face. I'll probably set the areas that I'm concealing now, but not my the, like the rest of the face because it I feel like it's concealed already. And I'm going to try and reverse contour. And blend. Well, it's blending in this concealer, is blending in very nicely with the foundation. So I'm very happy about that. Can't complain. So, again, even when you're like blending out my concealer, it is more for full cover. I feel like I have more control over where the product goes um, when I'm using a brush compared to when i am using a blender i can control how far it must like go up which areas i need to properly like highlight out which areas i can just you know do a little bit not a lot oh. try and do that i like for my concealed concealer to go all the way up here because I'm, i like to elongate my eyes i feel like they're they're small but they're like long and so they already like go as if they're going in that direction so i like to pull so i pull also my face so that's why my concealing is going more like up there literally by the corner of my eye up is where i'm pulling my face up on both sides and you can see, really see how my eye is pulling like that and i'm not going all the way out here with my concealer because i'm trying to put the concealer right where the light hits only in that area so that it already looks like my face is like slimmer so that's why sometimes when I do, not sometimes, but most of the other people think, if, like when you see me with my makeup on, that there's a difference, like, oh, did you lose weight or whatever, or without my makeup, did you gain in your face? And you're like, no, I really didn't. I just know how to like, finesse and play around with the makeup for my face now. So I'm doing this so that I don't have to apply foundation i mean yeah more foundation or concealer to darken so this is called reverse contour where you just highlight the area that you want to highlight and you leave the others like that different techniques of doing makeup and so i'm highlighting areas I love how the product is sticking to the foundation so I'm just gonna blend this out here because I want it highlighted but not overly like highlighted just to create see it's already giving you that cheekbone I mean it's giving you that there already and I didn't even apply contour so this area of my face is coming out like high and then on both sides having a beauty a damn beauty blender on hand is always works because you can always go out and blend the rest of the product out the way you need them blended and make sure that it is a damp beauty blender and if you feel like you don't have enough control over the product that's already on your face make sure that you have a stay fix on hand as well and then you can always you know use that to wet your face more and then you go in with your products and then you apply it and then you blend it out if you are using like very matte products and you feel like oh it's not staying but there's also a very beautiful trick for girls with oily skin because when you apply a product in between when you do apply the stay fix it helps products to stay in place for like all day long wear so that and then i'm just going to add this one here and what is on the brush, what is left over from what I'm using here, I'm going to put on the side. 
just to bring that in. I do this because then it creates a nice small bridge for ourselves. So let me like a natural bridge there already. So. And then, there we go. So that looks really, 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 really nice. I like how far it's like the way that it's setting is already like beautifully setting the highlights are there and then I'm going to use the gouache prime and set powder to set areas I'm using the same brush that I used for the concealer and that's the one I'm using because it's already nice and wet so it can bring product like the powder to set or to adhere nicely on my skin but I am not baking because the foundation and the primer that I used and the concealer are already met. So I'm not baking, I'm just setting. I'm setting these areas because they are like almost like traveling type of areas. So I'm going to leave them like that. Um, this area is just here, smile lines, and then just here the corner because I want that emphasis. NYX Blush Sweet Cheeks Matte Creamy Powder Blush in the shade What is the shade? Bang Bang <laughs> Okay, well then Bang Bang it is It looks so beautiful guys Like the shade is pretty And I'm going to go in with a small angle brush and just apply the blush Ooh. I'm going to set my face again. Yeah, so what was I saying? I'm going to try this look out on my sister because she always complains about how oily she is, or the foundation rather, and see how it works. Uh, I'm going to highlight, going from my Maybelline Burgundy palette, those beautiful highlighters there. looks good and I like the fact that my hair is like pushed back too um lop, 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 lop. so I'm going to go in with the peeping plum for my lips and I finish off the look by putting mascara on my lower lashes And that's it I like how it looks my face looks really 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 matte um, like I put a lot of powder on this here is a oily girl foundation no two ways about it because my face is so matte right now it's not even funny it is so matte and I you see the amount of powder that I use not so much I just I love it <laughs> I really love how matte it is I love the shade it is so pretty I think it's coming close to my favorite foundations it's literally there I'm yeah it is a very beautiful foundation it is very very matte it is just the right shade for summer just the right one if you're going to be oil, I mean dry skin like me and use this, make sure you literally moisturize your face so much. Try and use a hydrating primer as well and then you put this on top because yeah, it's going to dry out your face a lot. But for oily girls, if you want to buy a foundation that is pricey but not too pricey, $2.79 is not so bad and it's only available at the Clicks at Grove and you must go there and go find your shade. Make sure that your shade, the girls there are so nice. Um, the lady who helped me there, she, the sales assistant, was so very nice. She literally took me through all the foundations so we can find a foundation that could match. 
even within this time they do find ways around you so they do find ways to help you out so you can get the right fit for your shade for your skin and yeah some might have to buy two different foundations to match but they have a new one born to glow that they still have available i couldn't find it in my shade at all everything was way too light and they didn't have a darker one anyway so i can mix the the two i would have i would have done that but yeah she promises me stock will be in store soon and so then i can get the born to glow which is like the newer one and i really want to try it it is actually much cheaper even though it looks like it's much smaller maybe it's just the packaging wise and then i will try those ones and it's much cheaper but if you have 300 dollars that you want to spend on a foundation and a very good foundation and that is good for like oily skin this is the one um it will really help the girls who always like struggle with foundations and that they want matte but they're not getting matte they're getting very glowy this will be a nice one i don't know if it's 24 hours like they claim i'm not testing it out it is late at night when i'm doing this so i'm not testing it out i am going to take a lot of pictures and then remove the foundation <laughs> so i can go to bed but it is very cool i'm gonna ask myself to come and see how my face looks hey blue blue slap jay come take home melissa and then she can come and see how my face looks met.com mm. how does my face look mm -hmm. Ooh. matte net. i like very matte i didn't put powder in i only put powder in the areas that i highlighted it is very matte all the other areas that need make a powder even he bore i didn't really oh that's nice powder. i like the movies in my guys you look Nice, the sort of shimmery blue and purple and mm -hmm. pink name. Mm -hmm. like cool. it's, it's more the foundation. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm just saying the foundation is really matte. You can just see the shininess from the shimmer that you put on there. That's all. But other than that, it is very matte. It's enough from the primer. Mm -hmm. From this foundation. This foundation. Did you well, use the, the Revlon primer also? Uh, it, no, I used the mattifying primer from all women. So I'm like, I think I'm going to, I'm going to. Combine them and mm. put them on your face and see. And then you can do like an all day wear test. Okay, cool. Because we do it early in the morning and then we'll see how it looks because this is very, it's too matte for a girl like me. Anyway, my battery is dying. I will we will continue the discussion when I do have my sister's face. She's like wearing pajamas, she doesn't want to come in the screen. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like, leave your comments below. I'll see you guys in my next makeup video that my sister. Oh, the other one is also there somewhere. <laughs> See you guys in my next video.